By 1978, River's family was eking out a living in Florida. Hart worked as a secretary, while River and Rain were written up in local newspapers for their singing. Their idealistic parents dreamt of high-profile careers for their children, which would gain them a platform to spread their deeply held beliefs on spirituality, vegetarianism, and the environment. Florida didn't seem to offer the family that called itself Team Phoenix a big enough stage for their ambitions. For their best shot, they knew they had to come west, as River himself explained in a 1988 interview. We'd come out to Los Angeles to, um, to make it, um, and, and at the time I was nine years old and my sister was uh, seven, and we wanted to be recording artists, <laughs> which was a bit um, far-fetched, I suppose, because um, we were somewhat amateur. Because we were young, we were novelty and cute and talented, but uh, it was, you know, it just wasn't uh, album material. Times remained tough for the new arrivals, and again they performed on street corners, particularly in the upscale L.A. district called Westwood. Portland-based film editor Wade Evans played a small role opposite River in my own private Idaho. He lived in Westwood in the late 70s. He wore these uh, Western-styled costumes and played tambourines and guitars. It was the whole family singing. And I remember that I recalled seeing them in Westwood uh, when I lived down there. It was set up uh, right around the corner from where the Harry Krishnas used to hang out in Westwood. On arriving in L.A., John Phoenix took his family to meet his Aunt Frances, who was delighted to see her long-lost nephew and to meet his family. It was River, in particular, who captured her heart. Just wonderful, just loving, just kind as he could be, just really great. Anne Francis also clearly recalls the family's dogged determination to break into show business. I remember one time I saw them on TV. A friend of mine in the building called me and said, Francis, turn on your TV. River's on it. And the kids, they're singing at, in a mall somewhere. And uh, then they were ordered out of the mall, but they went on the outside, and they were determined they were going to do their singing. It was a modest start. But soon, things began to click. Our respected agent signed up the Phoenix children. So then later on, we got into uh, you know, commercials uh, for financial reasons, and, uh, and acting became you an know, uh, attractive uh, uh, concept, so we pursued it. River had only made a few commercials before deciding his vegan principles, including a diet devoid of meat and dairy products, and rejection of anything that threatened animals, would not allow him to continue promoting products. Nevertheless, River did seek higher profile roles in television. On an early audition, River and his family made friends with actress Sidney Penny, best known for a long-running role on the daytime soap, All My Children. Our mothers uh, struck up a relationship early on, so that sort of it seems when the mothers become friends, the families <laughs> join together. And the ten of us, his, his, his batch and my batch, we were always getting together. We would have dinner at each other's homes. and and share just normal, everyday life experiences. Eventually, River began landing guest roles on television. These led to a regular role on Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. The 1982 TV series was based on the classic movie musical. It was shot in the little town of Murphy's, California, some 150 miles northeast of San Francisco. James H. Brown produced the series. I was there for the audition, yeah, yeah. He, came in, I, I think uh, he was probably 11, 12 years old, came in with his little guitar and uh, did an Elvis Presley impersonation for us. He was marvelous. The TV series was filmed at the home of Judith Marvin, who saw in Young River a big sense of responsibility. I felt, you know, that this being River's first job, and he did have the whole family to support. They didn't have much money when they got up here. That that was very important to him. And I, and I do think that probably was a cert, certain load on him to be responsible for the whole family. But I understand that the family had always determined that whoever made it was going to support. They were always going to be together. When the E! True Hollywood story continues, River gets bigger jobs, bigger responsibilities, and bigger concerns. He said, well, you know, in this film, I had to use bad language. I had to say this word and that word. And a childhood innocence slowly gives way to a Hollywood cynicism. 
really upsets me and I'm basically upset at myself for, for being as naive and gullible as I have been in the past.